I resorted to camping, resorted to camping. I ain't shit with that llama, ain't shit with that chopper. I'm camping like I'm garbage, camping like I'm garbage. My reflexes on pause now. Hey yo, what it do, baby? It's your boy Dynamic, and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty commentary. But what I'm gonna talk about is Google's new health company named Calico or Calico. I don't know exactly the pronunciation. I just know the way that it's written. And you might ask yourself, Dynamic, why are you talking about this topic? Well, as you guys know, or most of the guys that subscribe to me from the beginning, I love technology. I love science. And I think this is a good thing because what this new company that Google has formed, well, first of all, I don't know if they formed it or they bought stock into a smaller company, changed the name and are, are going to relaunch it. I think it's a latter. But before I talk about Google's new company, first of all, what I want to talk about is Google's past ambitious projects. So the first ambitious project that I can remember was Google Glass. And at first, investors from Google were like, oh, we're not sure if this is going to work. The technology doesn't seem like it's there. And Google re really believed in it. I think when they announced it, it was like 2010 or something like that. And the technology has really progressed to the point where Google actually envisions this product as something that can be successful, something that could change the way things are done like like the iPhone was on modern culture so they're looking at it as a possibility to make money but also to advance to advance socially technologically to take the next step forward and then Google put money into researching uh, autonomous vehicles self-driving cars cars that drive themselves at first investors were like oh we don't know about this but Google what they in my opinion, what they want to do is they want to advance technology forward because they see that a lot of things are just stuck in the same, in the same, they're not advancing. At the same time, they see potential for these companies that they create or these new innovations to make money down the road. So it's not like they're being dumb about what they are doing. They're taking a risk, but it's a calculated risk. So when it pertains to this company, this is going to be a health company focused on diseases such as Alzheimer's and stuff like that really debilitating the diseases especially that come down later on in life okay so what I want to do is talk about what I think my personal opinion what I think is motivating Larry Page and Sergey Brin you know the co-founders of Google into taking these ambitious projects and trying to make money but also improve people's lives and bring upon innovation into the world also, I want to talk about them hiring a futurist, which I have talked about many, many times on this channel called Ray Kurzweil, and he basically wrote a whole bunch of books, but the most popular books that he wrote is one is called The Age of Spiritual Machines, and the other one is called The Age of Intelligent Machines, which basically talks about the singularity and this leap forward in technology, and he was hired by Google, by the way. But what I get from all this, especially what's going on lately, because all the technologies Google is talking about or has put some effort into are all technologies that he wrote about in his book. Basically, the wearable tech, you know, like the Google Glass, the self-driving autonomous vehicles. Those are things that Ray Kurzweil wrote in his book. And Ray Kurzweil has been a Google employee since December. Also, the Google brain, which is basically... They're trying to create artificial intelligence that learns by itself. I don't know if exactly by itself with no supervision. Well, let me say this. It probably has supervision, but it most likely just goes over itself and it finds out any flaws that it has. And it just keeps improving and building on top of what it already has. So that's why it's called the Google brain. And hopefully Google's probably going to merge, merge all these technologies together and dominate the world eventually. At least that's my opinion. Anyways, the connection that I wanted to make between Ray Kurzweil, the futurist, which is also a Google employee, and the executives over there at Google and stuff is that I read a half dozen articles and all these people that write about technology and stuff all the time, they, I don't know if it's that they weren't informed about this guy or they just completely ignored it or couldn't make the connection that everything he was preaching before he went to Google are things that Google is actively doing now. 
It just seems like too much of a coincidence. Google sees potential in these things to make money, but they also, it's like, it's like Elon Musk. It's like he sees potential in things that can make money, but they also have a purpose. He wants to like advance technology forward. And it seems that's what Google wants to do. And keep in mind, if Google achieves this Google brain thing and their Google brain reaches human or superhuman cognitive abilities and critical thinking and IQ and all this, whatever artificial intelligence is cracked up to be or what we imagine, if they achieve that, they are going to dominate every single company in the world, but that's another subject altogether. So anyways, when it comes to this latest company that they have, one of the things that Ray Kurzweil has talked about is eventually human beings becoming immortal or merging with machines. And this company is a health company, which is, it wants to improve the lives of human beings especially older human beings, because we are living longer. As time moves on, the, we live longer and longer, and maybe our biology wasn't programmed for us to live this long. So we have all these new diseases that pop up that we never even knew of 100 years ago or 50 years ago because we simply did not live that long. So they're trying to improve later age in life, and at the same time, they're trying to prolong life, and maybe, I know they don't want to talk about it because it sounds crazy, but maybe... We will reach a point someday where human beings don't die anymore. Where it's just like, I know it's hard to imagine now for anyone. It is hard to imagine because through the history of mankind, all species, even the longest living species, most likely die. We're not sure about that on a couple species, but I really hope Google is successful with what they're trying to do. It seems incredible, amazing. I love technology. I love science. I'm happy to be living in these times. So anyways, I'm out of time, guys. So peace out, players. Oh, my game.